Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer this Tuesday and the seventh week after Pentecost. And so glad you're able to join Tom and I. I have my morning tea and I hope you have your morning breakfast or beverage. And uh, it's always good to start the day, as I have said, with the, with the word of, of God. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 86. Bow down your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and in misery. Keep watch over my life, for I am, I am faithful. Save your servant who puts his trust in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for you are my God. I called upon you all the day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, and great is your love toward all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the time of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, none nor anything like your works. All nations you have made will come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous things, and you alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Knit my heart to you, that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord, for my God and for all my heart, and glorify your name forevermore, for great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the nethermost pit. The arrogant rise up against me, O God, and a band of violent men seek my life. They have not set your eye, you before their eyes. But you, O Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a sign of your favor so that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Let us pray. God of mercy, when Christ called out to you in torment, you heard him and gave him victory over death. Fill us with the love of your name and help us to proclaim you before the world that all peoples may celebrate your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That one section there reminds me, for you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, is the one song that we always sang uh, with the youth, you know, lift up my soul. Yes, good words, good words indeed. So today's reading, we continue in Numbers in the 22nd uh, chapter to see what's uh, going on with Balaam and see what he has done. So Balaam rose in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the prince of Moab. But God's anger was kindled because he went, and the angel of the Lord took his stand in the way as his adversary. Now he was riding on his ass, and the two servants were with him. And the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand, and the ass turned aside out of the road and went into the field. And, and Balaam struck the ass to turn her into the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in the narrow path between the vineyards uh, with a wall on either side. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord, she pushed against the wall and pressed Balaam's foot against the wall, so he struck her again. Then the angel of the Lord went ahead and stood in the narrow place where there was no way to turn, either to the right or to the left. When the ass saw the angel of the Lord, she lay down uh, under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he struck the ass with a staff. Then the Lord opened his mouth of the ass, and, and she said to Balaam, 
What have I done to you that you have struck me there three times? And Balaam said to the ass, Because you have made sport of me. I wish I had a sword in my hand, for then I would kill you. And the ass said to Balaam, Am I, am I not your ass upon which you have ridden all your life long to this day? Was I ever accustomed to do so for you? And he said, No. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand, and he bowed his head and fell on his face. And the angel of the Lord said to him, Why have you struck your ass these three times? Behold, I have come forth to withstand you, because you because your way is perverse before me. And the ass saw me and turned aside before me these three times. If she had not turned aside from me, surely just now I would have slain you and let her live. Then Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I did not know that thou dost stand in the road against me. Now therefore, if it, uh, if it is evil in thy sight, I will go back again. And the angel of the Lord said to Balaam, Go with the men, but only the words which I bid you that shall you speak. So Balaam went on with the prince of Balak. When Balak heard that Balaam had come, he went out to meet him at the city of Moab on the boundary formed by Arnon at the extremity of the boundary. And Balak said to, ba Balak said to Balaam, Did I not send to you uh, to call you? Why did you not come to me? Am I not able to honor you? Balaam said to Balak, Lo, I have come to you. Have I now any power at all to speak anything? The word that God puts in my mouth, that must I speak. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Now we have to wait and see what the Lord's words are put in Balaam's mouth. New Testament reading comes from Romans, the seventh chapter, beginning with the first verse. Do you not know, brethren, for I am speaking to you who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only during his life? Thus a married woman is bound by law to her husband as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, she is discharged from the law concerning the husband. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she is free from the law. And if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. Likewise, my brethren, you have died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead, in order that you may bear fruit for God. While we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions aroused by the law were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. But now we are discharged from the law, dead to that which held us captives, so that we serve not another, serve not under the old written code, but in the new life of the Spirit. What then shall we say? That the law is sin? By no means. Yet if it had not been for the law, I should not have known sin. I should not have known what it is, uh, what it is to, to covet if the law had not said, You shall not covet. But sin, finding opportunity in the commandment, wrought in me all kinds of covetousness. Apart from the law, sin lies, uh, lies dead. I was once alive apart from the law, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. The very commandment which promised life proved to be death to me. For sin, finding opportunity in the commandment, deceived me and by it killed me. So the law is holy and the commandment is holy and just and good. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemy, free and from all the hands that hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins, 
and the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light in our life. O come, let us worship him. Um, let us pray. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may, may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Tuesday morning with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. And what a way, great way to start the day with the word of God and to praise him. Uh, don't forget that Pastor Matthew will be on this evening uh, with Morgan and Gracie, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, you have a safe and great day. God bless. Bye-bye.